This is exactly right. I'm Barbara Gray, and I don't own enough floppy hats and sunglasses to be anybody's Instagram girlfriend. Aww. Unfortunately. I'm Brandy Posey, and 92% of abs are a waste of abs. <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and fuck Chris Brown for pretty much everything, including making that one good song. Ugh. My name is Ekaterina Petrovna Zamlochkova, but you can call me Katya. I'm Russian woman, activist, actress, and mother. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lady to Lady. And this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a cigarette? Neither can we. <laughs> We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby, it's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Oh my god, lady, we're gonna this is gonna be the quickest intro of all time. Yeah, we have to get to to it. Um, Oh gosh, what are we doing? We're going, oh god, we're gonna be in Chicago (laughs) November 19th. Um, we're playing the Athenium Theater at 7 p.m. Uh, for 45 minutes before Bullseye. So if you're in Chicago, come to see us. Come see us. The uh, tickets will be up, uh, up soon. Check yeah. out Twitter I'm and so stuff. excited. That's going to be a great night. Perfect Fuck yeah. spot. Stick around for Bullseye after, fellow. We're, we're already working on a meet and greet um, to get Tess a bunch of Malort. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I have to get initiated into Chicago. It's my I'm popping my Chicago cherry. Yeah. And that will be right when I end my celibacy also. So uh-huh. I'll talk people. We'll oh, talk about sure that. I wasn't aware that was the thing that <laughs> oh, was yeah, happening. Oh, yeah, that's happening. Barbara, just stop <laughs> it. <laughs> stop with the celibacies and the stop. I'm things. still drinking. I'm still drinking, okay, but I'm, not, I'm being celibate. Okay. It's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, wait. Also, also, if you leave, we're doing this thing. We're giving away T-shirts. Yes. yes. Leave a review of us on iTunes, and we're going to mm-hmm. pick some of our favorites and send you some free yeah. stuff. For the next four weeks, we're going to pick our favorite one every week, and you're going to get a T-shirt. And so. Other stuff. We'll send you a koozie and some pins. And yeah, because we you. we're gonna we're trying to we're clearing out these shirts because we're gonna make some new ones and have them at the podcast festival yeah. in November. Yay! Um, also, this is Barbara Gray. I'll be in <laughs> San Francisco headlining the Punchline on September 20th this month, and at the and headlining the Armony Club on the 22nd, and then the Crow's Nest in Santa Cruz on the 25th. Uh, and uh, this is Brandy Posey. Why are we doing <laughs> it this way? <laughs> uh, I have physical copies of my album available at my website, brandyposey.com, and I'm also throwing in a bunch of stickers and pins and stuff. If you want to buy those right now, mm. they are on sale. B R A N D I E P O S E Y. B R A N D I E. That's the way we like, like to do be. a party. <laughs> Sound <laughs> off. One, two. All right. right. Let's do our guests. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, as, if you guys can't tell, we're uh, really excited to have our guest on. It's uh, Brian McCook, aka yeah. fucking Katya <laughs> you know, from that's... Drag Race. Oh, dude, thank you so much for the cheering. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, this is so weird. I feel like, well, first of all, can you hear me mouth breathe? Probably not. No, No, I don't think so. David, mouth breathing? (laughs) (laughs) This is so cool. But I love voices. Yeah. And you don't have to smell or look like I don't have to look a certain way or smell a certain way. I can just be here and that's okay. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. You smell great, I think. It's fine, but it doesn't matter. There's no way for them to know. They right. just have to trust you. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, that we like that too because, man, we look like shit sometimes when we do yeah, I, know. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was like, I hope he knows he doesn't need to be in full makeup. Oh, no. I thought of that and I was like, <laughs> I was I was like, like oh, there's no. no way. No. There's no way. They have to pay me thousands of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's, this is so much better. Yeah. Right? It's so good. And, like, um, I... I never, you know, that was the first time people, uh, someone had introduced me as Brian McCook, and it feels nice because that's yeah. what I am right now. Yeah. And sometimes I forget. Exactly. That. Yeah. How often you're are Brian. You you're yeah. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I like playing with names. Like if I meet people like at a gig who don't aren't familiar with Drag Race, I'll just mm-hmm. introduce myself as Barbara. Oh, I, I that's one of your go tos. Really? That's one of my go tos. Uh, Barbara, Cheryl, Vicky, Maureen, like all these names really? of like women who could work at a bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, because I worked at a bank with these women. Are you serious? Yeah, for a short time, and it was terrible. But yeah, I yeah. can imagine. Yeah, I just got a, I, I just got new headshots done, and I have like an auburn wig that makes me look normal. Yeah. And her name is Brenda when I wear it. Brenda, that's another <laughs> that's one. A Brenda's one. a very good. Stay bank tuned teller. to All Stars because that's my like my um my mantra like shut up Brenda shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like my inner voice, you know, that was like telling me you're not good, you're you're pretty bad, like you should go home, you know, whatever. The, oh my god, we should you name her Brenda. Brenda. We should name yeah. that person. Like it's gonna be for you though. It's like, what's your like special bad voice? You know, oh right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, I already got it. It just popped, came right oh, yeah. to me. 
Tony, it's Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because well, it's Cheryl's the, the dead raccoon I wear in my head, and um, <laughs> I love you. You know, like, and she, if you do stuff like that, if you have these like talismans and drag the yes. the fans, like, will will like fixate on those and and like make a fan page and just forget about you. Oh, you know right. what I mean? It's That's like right. Ornatio. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ornatio. When, the, when the, like, the sort of character, the inanimate object, eclipses the, the star power of the actual person. Yeah. That's when you know you've made it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's so weird. I think God, I can't wait to know I've made it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a dirty dish towel. Yeah, you got to get a nice thing, though. It's got to be kind of like, but you can't sell it. It's a whole, yeah, it's a long thing. Wow, yeah. that's such a, like, that seems like such a drag specific yeah. issue. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There are a lot of drag specific issues. Yeah. <laughs> I, I use Dawn dishwashing liquid to take my makeup off. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. It, it cuts the grease and it's soft on my but skin. But it doesn't hurt your, I mean, I well, guess you don't get it in your eyes. I, no, I just like, you know, you can't put it in your eyeball. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. But you had to like be careful with the, like right when you dig around the eyeball. Yeah. Like oil is only good Coconut for that. oil though, yeah. right? Do you do coconut yeah. oil? That would be good. Like that's uh, Courtney who's like the naturopath like huh, huh, of yeah. the of the drag world. <laughs> she lives in LA and she does co- coconut oil and her like her uh, uh, supplement bag is bigger than her actual like clothing really? allowance. Yeah. She's like real cool. But she's a do wacky supplements about do stuff. shit? That's does so anyone funny. know? I don't it's think It's placebo do for anything. sure. I think yeah. supplements and crystals it's like hey if it does something for you. Yeah but I think also you can't underestimate the placebo value of it. Although, That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When when like when uh, people try to take advantage of that mm-hmm. on the part of the consumer, that's when it just becomes shifty. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, you're only selling snake oil, then yeah. that's bad. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah all that Herbalife and shit like that. Herbalife like, is bullshit, but it's like a scam. Something yeah. like scam. something like you know, every once in a while we'll go off on these things where we're on apple cider vinegar or what have you, yeah. right? Yeah. And look, you know, if it's if you feel like it's making you think more clearly, then you're thinking more clearly. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? Yeah. It's not hurting you, probably. Yeah. And if it can do also have have some kind of physical thing beyond the mind, then that's great too. Sure. Yeah. But hopefully it does. Otherwise, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we cross our fingers and hope for the best. Yeah. That's all we can do. Right? Yes, that's all we can do <laughs> before we die. <laughs> 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 This is, so what is? Do so you have computers out? What does that mean? Oh, we just have our um, show. Notes. We just have oh, like okay. our show notes. Yeah, we, oh, don't gotcha, need gotcha. To. we usually have our iPads or whatever. So this is the modern version of a legal pad. Yeah, basically. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Computers are the modern version of legal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yes, just right. thawed out from 90, 92. I just don't know much. <laughs> was that Encino like Man? Like Encino the, Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What year did he come back into? I the, think the it was 92. From Probably 92. Around yeah. that time. Yeah. So you replaced him. You went in back into the ice cave then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, exactly. Encino Man feels like a Bill Clinton presidency movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That falls sounds into right. That. What a great oh my God, movie. I had the yeah. biggest hard on for Polly Shore. I was like, which Oof. one are you going to say? I was just waiting. Oh, because Polly Shore and Brendan Fraser was Brendan the... Brendan Fraser. The, oh, the, um, but not Sean. That's so funny, Wait, you guys. Was- I was in my head. I was like, it was so clearly Polly Shore that was hot in that movie that no. it didn't even cross. Brendan the- Fraser. <laughs> Wait, isn't who's the guy? Sean Astin? No. Yeah, Sean, Sean Astin, Astin is the normal one. The normal one. Brendan Fraser is the the caveman. The yeah. caveman. Yeah. And, Polly and Polly's the- like the BFF, the yeah. stoner. He's the oh, okay. weasel. He's, yeah. yeah. Oh. He's that guy. Gotcha. Yeah. I have Brendan Fraser painted on the side of my car. <laughs> you. The, yes. the 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 name itself no, or the man like the a man. picture of him. Oh wow, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. How He's breathing they... fire. <laughs> what on your car? <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. You're a lunatic then. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. The other side, so- the other side has a Lincoln fighting a T Rex in space. Oh okay, yeah, you're yeah. total lunatic. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's amazing. Crazy. <laughs> Brendan Fraser was my safe word in college. With my friends, like, whenever does he we seem go- like a safe man? Yeah, he seems so he safe. He would never rape you. No, no. never, no. never. Yeah. If he t- rapes somebody, <laughs> forget <laughs> it. Then there's forget it. Yeah. No hope for leave. any man. We yeah. all yeah. Leave. yeah, it's awful. In oh college, what we would do, like, if we were stuck at a part, like a party, and we didn't want to be there, um, one of us would bring up Brendan Fraser, and we would change the conversation to Brendan Fraser, and then it was time to go. And if a guy, that's a really good safety. idea. I need yeah. something yeah. like this. I had yeah. something like that with my friends, but it was just we would get really stoned and then obnoxiously clear the room by laughing <laughs> too hard. <laughs> People hate the sound of a woman's laugh. Oh, I kind of wait. Well, I'm kind of into that though. Pr- instead of you leaving, yeah, make yeah. everyone else leave. Mm-hmm. I kind of like that idea. Well, well yeah. 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 The, things get gross all of a sudden. Oh yeah. 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 How do you well, get people out of the room? Well, Plan B of the Brendan Fraser thing is if a guy won't leave you alone, you say, "I'm sorry, you cannot speak to me until you name ten Brendan Fraser movies." in 60 seconds go mm. and then they have to sit there and I definitely their brain. can't do that I can't either yeah. but, but yeah. What's, to, what's to stop him from just you know just being more obnoxious even though he can't do it then you yeah. walk, then you walk away because yeah. you're like you're a loser you're a loser yes. and I, pro- I prove that you were a loser wouldn't it be great if you could just throw up on someone god I wish 
trash yeah, like projectile it, or not. Or but, but what if it was like that thing that they, oh, this is bringing up a child actor memory. Um, <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait. So I, when I was a kid, I screen tested for that movie Parenthood with Steve yep. Martin. Mm-hmm. And remember the scene where they're driving home and the kid throws up? Mm-hmm. I screen tested for that part. God, and so I got you. to try out the thing where it was like the fake, because that was pretty much the whole part. Was just Wait, they have to throw. What do you mean? What did you do? It, it was like up your arm. Yeah, it was the thing that was up my arm, oh, the and then they thing. fed it through. They like they blended it in with makeup, and you didn't see it, so that when the camera was here, I just went like oh. that, and it was a trigger thing that I pulled with my hand. That is so cool. And the screen test. Can you imagine going to every party with that? Yes, right? I can. That's yes, what I mean. can. <laughs> and definitely never leaving with the house without that apparatus, like firmly yes. installed. Yeah. 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 That's never your again. thing. That becomes the thing that everyone yes. wants to buy. Or what is it called? Your, yeah. The ornish. But then when yeah. every party starts to be filled with vomit, like we have to reevaluate our social skills and like choices. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what if you put something else in it though? If you just put glitter in it, you could just Oh, like, that's even vomit. worse than vomit though. It is true. <laughs> glitter? Like, you really can't get that out of anything. And for a yeah. guy who's being a creep, that's even perfect because he'll always look like a fag. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's like the ultimate thing. You can tell he's been marked. That like, is, he's yes, a creep. Yes. 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 And it's yes. marked with glitter, which is so great because it doesn't even smell, but it looks like in we the sun. We have to start like, marking them with glitter. We yeah. have to come together and decide the color Yeah. and just get Oh my God. That'd be a really good superpower for a woman rather than a killer pussy in yeah. like an American horror story that never went anywhere. Oh, but like, uh, But you know, if you could just vomit glitter on like red oh men. But God. have to get in their eyes and blind them too. That's true. Yes, please. Yeah, Thank yeah at you. least for a little bit. This is honestly yeah, perfect. Oh my yeah. God. No, <laughs> no pain though, which would be confusing. Yeah, oh, that's you know? true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Oh. Yeah. Instead of mace, yeah. Just yeah. Be, just a, yeah. You just need a glitter bomb. Gl- it's, yeah, it's a glitter bomb, exactly. Oh, what? the activists do that to like, um, gay activists have done that. Or yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. what a fun... I mean, it's just fun. It's fun and annoying though, because Ex- the glitter takes months to come out <laughs> yeah. of everywhere. You know what I mean? They're mm-hmm. how it's going to be. They're going to find it. Yeah. How have we everywhere. not developed a better glitter? No, th- there is not. I think it's just perfect. There's good glitter out there though. Really? Yeah. Yeah, for like cosmetic use, because it's in your eyes. It's you dangerous. mean like highlighter shit or, or like, like just like dust, stuff you can. Kinda? Yeah, like there's like craft glitter and then cosmetic glitter because you don't want to put. You know, craft glitter in your eyeballs. Right. Yeah. But even like, I don't know. I feel like even when I use like cosmetic glitter, mm-hmm. it can stick in there for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's it's really hard. You're to get saying even you're saying oil. they haven't come up with easier to get rid of glitter. Yeah. You're but not saying better glitter. glitter. Yeah. 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 I think, you know, this is a commitment. About glitter. Glitter's yeah. just more permanent. Yeah. Tiny, <laughs> shiny pieces everywhere. Yeah. Did you guys ever see glitter with Mariah Carey? It was bad. Was, I mean, I heard it was horrible. But it was I bad, but not in Showgirls bad. Like, it was mm. so bad, it was Just good. Was Showgirls and it is, like, entertaining start to finish. No yes, questions. Blast. One of Every the best scene. movies ever Every made. Every scene. Absolutely. Perfect movie. Paul Verhoeven, though. <laughs> uh, gore and Sleaze. Yes. Yeah, I just watched I mean, Total, Total Recall. Total again. Recall is one of my uh, favorite movies gore ever. Gore and Sleaze. Yeah. Yeah. He loves Gore and Sleaze. But he just did it. I haven't seen it, but it's a great... Um, uh, Isabel Huppert was just like a crazy good French actress was just in his latest movie mm-hmm. and it's about apparently a woman who is sexually assaulted and her attitude about it is like flippant and she's just like kind of a monster Whoa. and, and I, I don't know I haven't seen it yet so I'm dying I haven't to see seen it. anything he's made for a long like those are like the ones I'm not, I, I didn't over even over. like know that was I didn't know that that was the same director that did yeah. Total Recall yeah. and Showgirls he, yeah. and he did he write Total Re- or Showgirls I, I think he did, or I I'm not no sure. Because no I, I saw, yeah. they used to do a live performance of it at UCB where they would read the script because the yeah. script's apparently fucking insane. It is incredible. Yeah. I used to love doggy chow. Yeah. Like eating dog food. <laughs> at a, it was so bizarre. So weird. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's a different writer. So but I guess the, the script would say, so usually scripts say like I-N-T-E-X-T for yeah. like interior, exterior. Yeah. The script said internal, external for every, like even oh the stage directions made no Aww. fucking sense. That's adorable. It's total insanity. And <laughs> Yeah, like, what was the action like? Was it written, like, really crazy? Yeah, the crazy, you know, the sex scene where she's in the waterfall. Yeah, it was just flailing. Yeah, that that is my... One of my favorite things oh, of all God. time. Oh God! They the read it. Scene. They read it. The script and it was so amazing. What are like, the stage directions? I can't remember. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't remember. Maybe we can find it because it's like, fucking. Nuts. You know what I love about that scene is my favorite other Elizabeth Berkeley movie, and I think we're all on the same page here. Mm-hmm. Is the uh, I'm so excited, freak out on Saved sure. by the Bell. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And there's yeah. a real parallel. I think we saw the sex yeah the scene kind coming of from that the moment. From that moment. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was the foreplay. <laughs> you can the just connect. The foreshadowing. Yeah. Like it was, just connect she was em. so excited and so scared of where her career was about to go. Yeah. 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 Luckily, she was about to get the best call of her life. I mean, yeah. I, yes. I love that scene in Showgirls just because it's like so nice to see. I'm like, oh, okay, so it's not weird that I look like that when I come, right? <laughs> <laughs> In, in, a, in the a pool bear. every Adorable. time. Every yeah. time. <laughs> pool sex leads to that. Yeah, I'm can sorry. I, we can't do this until we go. Can I ask a question about about <laughs> suction and pools and the in the possibility of, of vaginal insertion of a penis? Is 
Is that even right. possible? Oh, you can totally you can do it, you but can. it's huh? not necessarily. Yeah, it's like kind of weird because you know water's not like lube, so it yeah. doesn't. Well, of course not. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. anti lube. It's just, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, you can do it. Oh yeah, I've, I've absolutely had sex underwater. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Underwater? Yeah, yeah. I don't think do underwater. I was half out of water. Oh, yeah. I bet that's in like not a three in like a yeah. three foot pool. Not yeah, like the still, deep end. You're not I mean, fucking I the deep I have pretty good. And the thing You're is, fucking, the edge of the pool the gives you really end. good leverage. So it is like, it's not a Oh, horrible. yeah. And you can really like, the, it, the control you have over your body and its lightness. Yeah. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's yeah. the most fun. That's exactly. the pro. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's probably some really cool stuff you could do in a pool, really. Also, I mean, your tits float. Yes. <laughs> that's the best part. Your body looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. And it probably feels amazing, yeah. too, which makes it, yeah. That's what, yeah. Yeah. And what's really, um, if you have a bar you can grab onto, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Or slide to slide down. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You slide Onto down on to the. <laughs> yeah, just waiting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, oh, it, but it never is. It's like, like it no. never no. is in real life. It's There's never. a lot of fumbling. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah exactly. That. No, I know. I always like think. I feel. I feel like. I, I feel for for people with penises because I'm like that's a lot. It's hard, it must be hard to like figure out. I mean, yeah, you're just later, trying to jam something into a hole without hurting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you want to do it like you know, it's, it's like kind of like seamlessly as possible. But it, yeah, it's just often not seamless. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. I wish, like, I wish I could. They would like make a really, really good porno, but there was a scene that was like two and a half minutes of like, oh shit. Yeah. You know, like they, it was like, but it went on for like ever and ever, That's and it'd so just be funny. really funny. Yeah. 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 And then they get it in, and it's just you know, and then they go for it. But like, mm-hmm. yeah, I was, I, I watched way too much porn before I had sex. So um, that was like a weird thing. Oh, that's it. Like, actually, our lady problem is kind of about, about that. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. about porn. So we'll talk about that later. But yeah. Um, exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's Buddy the dog. <laughs> Agreeing. So wait, you see Pamela Anderson just came out? Okay. Oh, I guess we can she talk about what? it later. She came out like talking about the yeah, dangers of porn. With under the <gasps> tutelage Pamela of some Anderson like um, Rabbi Shmuley or somebody. It was oh. like a, a, there was a, a rabbi in New York. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Part. Or not oh, no. in New York. But yeah, he was. it was like with in concert with... Um, oh. Oh, interesting. With, uh, it was a rabbi or like a Cidic teacher. I forget. I, I don't remember who. But yeah, I just read that on. Um, Wait, what did oh she no. say? I didn't read it. Porn. I saw They're the. They're very oh. anti porn. They think it's. The language of it is really interesting. They're like, it's uh, terrifying. And, and the, the words they use are very like strong and almost. Um, uh, Hyperbolic? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But or it's like you can tell I it's think kind there's of a story there. Yeah, porn definitely affects us, but it's not going yeah. anywhere. Well, that's yeah. the thing. I mean, I actually think that there probably is something to how accessible it is right now and how easy it is. That to was their use point. And, yeah. But yeah, yeah. They, that everything. said, people. I mean, when Pom- when they found Pompeii, they found like a sex menu where people could go choose what there was. Oh, yeah. Sex. Yeah. I mean, porn's sex been and porn's around. not going anywhere. Yeah. 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 So I mean, no, no, no. It's been around forever. To, to, I mean, being anti porn or anti yeah. masturbation is, is just one. that's how like being anti eating. Well and healthy. Yeah. Like, that's the yeah. question. Not that's like exactly. get rid of it. Get a grip. Yeah. Grip. You have no grip on life. Right. Like, is there a problem? with the current porn industry absolutely yeah. but the problem isn't that it exists no no no, no it's no. our it's our complete access and like will and unwillingness well, to complete, not look at it and i think the much 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 bigger problem is the stigma of it yeah the stigma I mean, and the shame that goes with it which is yeah yeah, yeah. what does this do to help that stigma and shame like yeah. nothing pamela anderson screaming about it with some <sighs> rabbi like it, first of all girl listen you're you you're, this feels like what not, i found out back was a scientologist yeah if she's not willing to like right. use her like the fact that it's Pamela Anderson talking about this in a way yeah. it's like so absurd. Yeah, you know? I mean, well, of course, I mean, because she is the godmother of the sex tape. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Pamela Kim Anderson Kardashian Tommy is Lee. her daughter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Literally, or goddaughter. Yeah, yeah god- goddaughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like just like how Miley, <laughs> don't you guys love that Miley is Dolly's goddaughter? I didn't know that. Know that. That's, right. That's amazing. That's I didn't right. know that. How adorable oh, is that? That is That's super great. That's perfect. Um, but porn. Yeah. She, I mean, but I mean, yeah, I can't, that, but, but, the, the point about Pamela Anderson is like that means she's in a cult, which is disappointing. It I've is, always very, really like yeah, it. and you get the sense that this, <laughs> that this, she got like she was, you know, t- is t- being taken advantage of or or, or her influenced somehow by like this guy who's um that's like really upsetting but yeah you know her and tommy lee at my first and worst job of my life when i worked at sketchers in the outlet mall Uh in my hometown (laughs) i had to wear a basketball jersey to work oversized basketball jersey to work uh you know when you're clearing shoes off the floor that people have been trying on Uh they call that clearing wood anyway (laughs) what Uh, what? (laughs) so i was clearing what at sketchers in my basketball jersey and I see this like really smelly guy walk in, and, and uh, I thought he was, you know, like homeless or something. And I look up and I realize that it was, it was uh, Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson, and that. they came in all stinky into my Skechers one day. Uh, yeah. Did you have to clear their wood? I had to clear their wood. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's so cool though. Do you have any idea how many times they probably like rolled into like the first class line at the airport looking like who done it? Yeah. And then, and then the people were like, oh no, 
you're not a you're not a homeless you're degenerate. Famous. You're yeah. super famous and rich. <laughs> yeah. That's like from one second to another. That's great. Yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. You guys, do you guys want to hear the, a little bit of the sex scene? We found the script. Oh yeah. Oh, from, oh yeah. yeah. From Showgirls. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Exterior pool night. She is against the side of the pool. Her face is turned away from him now. His hand is inside her mouth. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting detail. That, yeah. <laughs> She's faced away from him because he's pushing her away and <laughs> right. clawing him towards right. her with her mouth in her <laughs> mouth open. He holds her by the mouth. Okay, we get oh, it. Okay, we yep. get his mouth. Her head is back. His other hand is inside the cleft of her butt. <laughs> As he is inside okay. her, under the water. These are all dot dot dot. Okay, oh. ellipses. Oh. She moves against him up and down, up and down, back and forth, bump and grind. The lap dancer's movement. <laughs> the lap dancer's <laughs> As he pulls her backwards, turning her head roughly, she starts to moan. The water from the fountain hits her in the face. Yeah, oh yeah. As she comes and tries to breathe. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, it's really good. It's wonderful. And it's so awesome, like reading like hearing that and just like Picturing you no me being formed. So, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what's going to go down. She fucking went for that, man. Oh, my yes, God. Yeah, that that, scene. that yeah. lap dance scene she does. But Ooh. everything is so over, overly acted. Like, my favorite scene is just right when she meets um, her, her roommate. Oh, God damn, what was her name? I don't remember um, the roommate's name. The the girl with the braids who eventually end up getting raped by her idol. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And then she she's, like, asking her, you know, where are you from? And she, like, throws her fries in, like, different places. Yeah. It's, like, it's so, and then just, like, she's, like, a such a mess. She's a fi- like a walking fire. Yeah, when firework. she runs yeah, to the car, amazing. like beats on it. Everything yeah. is like it's so... like it's very like senior in the high school production, and the director was like, "Make a choice." Yeah, I want yeah. this to work. That's what she must <laughs> said to herself every day. You know, yeah. I want to do this. I'm going to do this movie. Did you guys see that picture I posted the other? I was walking by like a theater, a community theater, and I saw them rehearsing. Oh and yeah, and it was like it this was woman amazing. on the ground being held from behind by the guy. It was like the perfect. That oh, picture made me so happy. You really moment. captured a, a community. It was, was really on, a moment. Was it on campus oh, wait, at the community is. college? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, oh no, it wasn't. It was just, it was just the community oh. theater. Just <laughs> just, I love that. It's beautiful. Really... We'll post that on our Facebook page. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah how, so you're in community college. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I decided to sign. Well, I've, I want to uh, train in music, really. Or not train. I just want to learn an instrument. And it's insanely cheap to take it there so yeah mm-hmm. i started i took i'm taking piano in this other music class but oh, it's fun. funny because i'm such an asshole i was like oh this is gonna be like you know the professors are all gonna be whatever not gonna yeah. give a shit and they all have like phds and they're like super oh, yeah. legit they're yep. like nice people yeah. yeah they're great and so i don't know yeah is this your just... first time at a community college yeah pretty much i mean i went uh, to i went to like a university but they're I great and i'm like colleges. why the fuck am i paying back this giant loan for my regular school when I'm, i could have been doing this the i'm whole time? so pro community college yes oh it's amazing. two years you can cu- you can cut out of a yeah of a two years oh, yeah so cheap i mean yeah, it's not so as cheap. easy as that it's not i i suspect it's not like well okay you could go ace community college classes for two years and then just glide seamlessly into in california Princeton. you can know <laughs> right. in california i mean california has a really really strong state college just like ucla mm-hmm. and okay. berkeley and schools like that yeah. um and mm-hmm. And they coordinate with the community colleges here. So, like, you can go f- for cheap, cheap, cheap at a community college in California and then transfer to, like, UCLA or Berkeley, which are great schools. And they, yeah. Yeah. they coordinate with each other. So it is pretty That's seamless. what they were saying because they, the yeah. they were saying, like, yeah, they're looking for, mu- you know, ideally you would go to, like, a conservatory for music if you, like, took it as a major. Mm-hmm. And also Herb Alpert, the musician, donated yeah. a shitload of money so that all the music majors get free tuition forever. What? Oh. That, like, could, oh my god! I was that's like, crazy. "What?" So if you thanks got, Herb Albert. Yeah. Damn. Like, wow. All right. So yeah, I don't know. It's going well. I mean, I definitely had this moment where I was walking into class where I was like, "I'm going to be the old lady in yeah. school." Like, because oh, right. you know, yeah, you, there was yeah. always, oh, there was always oh, you like, are the old lady. Are you the, Wait, are you the old, oldest are, one? That are you? can't be true. Barbara. I am not. I'm not. Seventy <laughs> years old wants to learn the piano. <laughs> 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 like, it's like a bunch of like 18 year old kids and then me that you're the amazing. old lady the in community old lady. college I love Barbara, it in one month you have put out an infomercial and become the old lady in community college and I am so proud of Thank you. you so I'm proud really I'm becoming my best self <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we've had some people write to us. And I'm in this. Be- I have before and after pictures on beach bodies. Fucking, we have like. She's in an infomercial for something pictures. called called uh, Country Heat. Yeah. Whoa, what the happened? Um, what is Country Heat? It's a it's a workout program with um with 
uh, beach body. It's like a, I did country line dancing for ninety days to lose weight and get slim in like your yeah. Well, I lost like country thir- line I, dancing. I lost thirty three pounds or whatever. Um, yeah, that sounds like a fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Healthy way to do it, right? Yeah, really country. fun. Yeah, and now I like country music. It was crazy. Anyway, you can. <sighs> Who's find... your favorite country singer now? Oh, I don't. I don't I've been trying to get you in the country for a while. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know the names. I just know the songs. I like those and oldies the like Loretta Lynn and Patsy. Cline. Oh, oh yeah. my god, that's yes. my kind of country. Songwriting though, because American um, I, mean, I don't know. American music doesn't seem to have a lot of like narrative songwriting that's just all countries like that and yeah. i think that's why i like country because i'm a musical theater girl so oh, i yeah. like storytelling totally. songs yep, yep, yeah 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 yep, yeah yep, yep. yeah old country is my favorite too the, yeah the one I, that makes me laugh recently that i keep hearing on the radio i don't know who sings it but it's yeah. like something about a truck oh, I, I love that called, song there's something, something about, about a, a girl <laughs> yeah it's like something about a girl <laughs> and a truck and a, ooh, and and a booze and a, and a yeah. beer and a, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like he was just like i'm gonna do a song and somebody found his notes and then that made that a song he was actually writing the song I mean, we're also a mis- lot of we're quoting it like terribly, that. but oh, okay. no, that is literally the. That's, that's pretty much it. Lyrics, it, def- so. it definitely does go. There's something about a truck. Yeah, there's that. My sister and I are going to see Garth Brooks. Oh, in a couple weeks. Damn. What? I mean, so no. we're seeing Beyonce in like two weeks. I'm also, seeing. By the way. <sighs> but now in those huge giant concerts, where do you where are you going to sit? Or where are you going to stand? Because it seems like you'll be watching it from a screen. I'm not trying probably. to like no, no, probably. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, I'll it is I, called something about a truck, by the yeah, way. Is the go. name of the song. Yeah. No, it's absolutely <laughs> what the song is. Um, yeah. I love going to like big, big shows. Sometimes I'll throw down. I mean, usually I, if I can afford it, I will throw down for like a nice ticket. Yeah. Just because you're going to have them. Yeah. You but don't want to see all. I get anxious and crazy in those big crowds. So like, but it is about the crowd experience though, right? Like being um, around people who also enjoy it. No, I think it's more just like, I like seeing Beyonce tear shit up, right? I like yeah. to see Britney do her thing or like, yeah. you know, like I just like to see, I love pop shows because of like how much money they cost. Like yeah. just the explosions and the, and then yeah. the, what have you, like yeah, the big production. old theatrics Madonna of it all. always did a really good stage show. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Really yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like Madonna. crowds either, but it's worth it for me to see like this to see, because yeah. I can't go because I, I, I don't want to pay that much. So I'll just be watching it on, on the screen. I'd rather just back, watch yeah. it at home like mm-hmm. the Olympics. I, cut, yeah, yeah. You know, I just yeah. almost called you, caught you up. Brain, you, know, you <laughs> can get into shows for free, I think. I don't know how to do it, though. Just and email I'm, people and be like, hi, I want to go to the show. Yeah, but I don't like doing that because I don't, I don't know how to like um, pull strings or whatever. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you need to yeah, hire yeah. a string puller. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> Shark. <laughs> like my manager, he would be like, he'd, he's like a shark, so he'd figure it out. You're like, yeah, hey, well, manager, give me the Beyonce ticket. That's the point, yeah. yeah you want to yeah. get to the point where someone else did. Yeah, but even yeah. then, though, so, okay, so, like, if you can, I don't know, I just... Even if I can see them, like I like, mm-hmm. I like to be able to see the star like close up, so I can see like what their, see their faces. skin <laughs> face looks like. Okay, yeah, yeah. and those tickets are expensive. Those are like a thousand dollars. Yeah, least. those are. I mean, if How I'm just clo- anybody pay for that? if I'm close enough to where I can like see their costumes clearly and I can see the shit, oh. then that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I do that for like twenty minutes. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. all I would need. Like it, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, but like, um, yeah. I mean, but also like Beyonce. Um, we're gonna see her. What, a week? That's my no, first stadium it's, show. It's a week. I've never been it's to a almost a week. Really? This is my yeah. second time seeing this show. I'm wearing the tour shirt right now. I kind of like Beyonce. Um, oh, I really like that thank shirt, you. actually. Thank yeah, you. it's great. Yeah. This <laughs> tour, like, Beyonce in general, obviously, is a huge show, but, like, the video screen that she has is the size of a skyscraper. Holy crap. And she uses it so well. Oh, that's true. Whoa. Because in a lot of, because she's incorporating a lot of her video and film stuff into the show. Yeah. yeah right. So it's more, yeah. Yeah. Really I mean, you were at the VMAs, right? Yeah. I just, oh my God. So we were, were? on the, the, the white carpet because it was white, but we were on there and then somebody screamed and we're like, what's going on? And they were like, it's Beyonce. And I'm oh like rubbernecking and there was a false alarm. Oh. Because she came in right as we were there as well, but it, she only walked like a small portion of the carpet, which is really long. So you saw the performance gotcha. obviously at the VMAs? No, I oh. left. I left. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Le- I didn't want to see the show. No, because we. Brain. I, I know. I didn't. I, I don't want to see the show. Like I. I know I was gonna like it very much. Um, I liked her thing, and mm. then I liked. Um, I think that's it. No, I saw Britney because. Britney, um, of course. I, she's, but she's. Oh not, boy. She's. We have to keep her alive. She's doing fine. fine. She's doing no, no, great. She's doing she's great. Yeah. We got to keep her happy because that's our cultural debt to her. We, yes. We ruined yeah. her. Agreed. So as long as, but if she if she says in a loud voice, I don't want to do this anymore. Then we, we let her sit listen. down. She, then we let her go. Yeah. Then we let her go. <laughs> yeah. It's very true. She's, she's our, honestly, she seems like she's doing great. We follow her very closely. <laughs> what? Yeah. On Instagram, she's yeah. always posting. Stuff. It's like her hanging out with her boys all the time. You she's doing okay. Know. Every morning I check know. the New York Times yeah. and Britney's Instagram. 
<laughs> is she <laughs> the New York Times? Like, is the world dead? Is Britney dead? Okay. <laughs> Those are my two concerns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it in. And I That's a harbinger of, of, of doom when yeah. she dies. Oh, God. I can't. And it's just a I symbol, but it's, it. I think it's going to be a big oh, symbol. I can't oh, God. It's going to be no. a big yeah. one. I, I love been, her so much. I've been talking about this on stage, but we the, there's just one Britney Instagram where she's twirl, twirling under a waterfall. And the caption it, is? It says, I twirl for, twirling for all my haters. Twirling twirl yeah. for oh, all my haters. That's fabulous. Well, it's yeah. perfect, though, because yeah. this is what she's trying to quote Beyonce, formation, yeah. I twirl on my haters. And that's the difference between Britney and Beyonce is Britney twirls for the haters and Beyonce twirls on the haters. Isn't that profound? Yeah. <laughs> that is profound. I mean, right? that is so profound. That Isn't is literally it? the difference that's between exactly. both of them. <laughs> exactly. They are. Yeah, and that Beyonce uh, the, said the statement first and then yeah. Britney tweaked the, the same statement. And yeah, she that's tried. Really she it. She tried it. to quote it. And but then no, it's her. And she's looking good. She's looking good and she's wearing her ponytail on a scrunchie and she's behind a waterfall and she is twirling for her haters. She's She's, yeah. She twirls for her haters. Yeah. And I mean, it's the, that's what I love about Brittany is like in so many ways, she's so self-aware in her own special, like she's just yeah. such a special, special person. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a particular like a degree of self-awareness. That's I mean, not, her yeah. on yeah. fucking carpool yeah. karaoke when she was like, so James Corden was like, do you know, uh, do you know what Oops, I did it again? What is Oops, I did it again about? And she goes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm not really sure. I, I was like, what is the lyrics? Well, also, for she that. was what, 15 or something? Yeah, yeah. You know? a she, baby. But it's just so Little funny. Babe. I was like, you're amazing. I mean, but I what's her. great about that statement is that we all know that nothing makes less sense than that music video. Why it, is oh, she yeah. in it space? Makes zero, but the lyrics make sense. Titanic. Yeah. Titanic. The lyrics make sense. Yeah, the lyrics do, but uh, you can tell from her. Yeah, the Titanic thing is insane. But you can tell that's oh, yeah. that has Britney written all over it. You can tell that she didn't know what that song was about, and she was like, "Let's do like a Titanic reference." <laughs> I, I want to wear a red jumpsuit. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you know what? The important thing of all those that and before that, she was in flat sneakers, and that's really important. Yes, yeah. she needs to get her out of those damn heels, you guys. Like, Every, yeah, yeah. She yeah. doesn't want to dance. You're gonna make her dance. Like she needs to be in like flat sneakers. You know what? Um. The community Eliza Skinner. She uh, she works on James Corden, yeah. and she was like watching Britney uh, Britney videos for the carpool karaoke thing. And she texted me. She goes, "We just need to get Britney out of those heels." Yeah, she said because that- her her appeal was like her yeah. appeal was like this like this uh, aggressive, energetic. Almost tomboyish, sexy girl that yes. had like yes. because it had it was like low to the ground. It like it was like that kind of power in the feet that wasn't delicate. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that was like a really kind of like those boom boom. That is boom. true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a, it was a yeah. really like um, it's like power masculine a, a way of dancing. That was yeah. and she flung her hair and had a crazy hot body and mm-hmm. a lot of the skin was shown in the belly, like because they had yeah. those low 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 rise. Oh God! Pants. Thank yeah. God! Yeah. Thank those God! Those are not coming she back. Looks yeah. so you have those, those, those are so hot. Shave your whole vagina. Yeah, yeah. Shave your entire vagina to wear them. Yeah, yeah. if you drop really something, it's just gone. You can't yeah. pick it up. Three inches of crack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what do you yeah. do? Yeah, you have to you lay, have there to were lay like the <laughs> seven years of my life. You could see like a whale tail in it every day because I yeah. wore those pants. Oh yeah, I, it would yeah. just be like my jean line, yeah. flesh, my underwear, yeah. and okay. I, I was like, that's my style. Yeah, that's just it. Just happened. Everybody's doing it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. We all just kind of accepted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what happens. So wait, did you before you started dancing, like had to dance in heels for drag stuff? Did you had you dance in sneakers and stuff like that? I don't. I don't really like dance. Dance. I took like uh, two semesters of ballet, but like I don't. Mm. I don't. Um, I just kind of like wiggle. And like fall down and, and grind around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't have like where I it was yeah, like yeah. A, like a small T stage where it's like a cabaret where we just like we we're like present yourself on stage and then just go <laughs> right to the audience and jump on them. Right, right. Um, it. So yeah. like in terms of like a dance routine, it, it's all really like basic, basic. But I hate wearing heels. I hate really. Yeah, a fucking nightmare. They're great awful. to wear in a photo shoot because obviously yeah. they make uh, the leg and foot look really mm-hmm. sexy. But that's literally it that's the yeah. problem with them is like they're i wish we could get rid of them as a society but they make you look so hot you know what my i have this guy friend and he he's married to a woman and they're really really cool and he's just says you know honey can you put on those heels and he jerks off on her leg that's awesome <laughs> and she takes them right off guys you know what i was just i was actually thinking about this as like maybe a joke idea or something recently but uh well <laughs> let's workshop it uh, yeah, workshop this out no no, no i was more Skip welling off, this might but uh I actually think like sex is the ideal use for heels because of you're not walking. You're not yeah. walking. The only place you can wear those six-inch Louboutins that and like, that's who it's for. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yes. You don't want to. You don't want to like objectify and hobble yourself in public. <laughs> no. 
you know? Like, no, how no, are you going to no. run away from the guy you just, who now has a boner because of your goddamn heels? Yeah, because yeah. you look too fucking good because of these stilts that you're on. Yeah, yeah. it's awful. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, but God, I just can't. I mean, there's nothing like a heel. Like, it yeah. just makes your But that's why it's amazing. okay to you just use them once in a while. Yeah, so, but I mean, they I really, wear them, like, maybe, like, twice a year or some shit. Me too, and I always regret it. It's weird there aren't retractable heels yet. Like, <gasps> it, there's a robot on Mars, but we don't shark have retractable yeah. heels. Shark yeah. You know what I mean? Go. Yeah. Why isn't there, like, a button on well, your the, phone the hard, that you can just hit? Because <laughs> the problem with, like, there's such a, like, a, a craftsman, um, a, like, aura of, of appreciation for heels that yeah. you can, it's, like, you know, those, remember the ones with the pump? Oh, yeah, They just yeah, become yeah. little yes. gadget things, and that's inherently not sexy for some reason. That's yeah, true. Yeah, gadgets so, and heels there's really. a way yeah. there's a way to do it though you know what I mean I think so like, yeah. I think there's a way to do you it you know what you have to start with is like it's too bad Alexander McQueen is dead because he would have been the perfect one to roll that out with like yeah. a ridiculous artsy crazy I Lady Gaga like situation would... that re- you have to make it art first yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then it'll become like every day yeah. I feel yeah. like it would unscrew yeah. like a like a table and then it could thing. and then it could be a, a weapon <gasps> yes. yes please Hold that's on. a lot of time though. <laughs> like, I want hidden case. weapons on me at all times that's what I always want why is the woman the woman the industry for hidden weapons on women needs to be I way feel like bigger honestly than it might yes. be bigger than we know. Yeah. Yeah, um, but it's underground. It needs to well, I guess yeah. it has to be for hidden purposes. <laughs> <laughs> um we we have to take a break. Oh yeah, okay. But we're yeah. gonna we're gonna uh be back. BRB. 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 <laughs> This episode is brought to you by CISO. Yep, that's right. S-E-E-S-O dot com. The all comedy ad free streaming TV service made for the serious comedy fan. CISO is stacked with new original series, quotable classics, late night and stand up specials. Let me tell you, they have hilarious original series that you don't want to miss, like the UCB show, a weekly variety showcase from the original founders of the Upright Citizens Brigade, features Amy Poehler, Matt Walsh, and Matt Besser, and Ian Roberts. CISO is also full of amazing stand-up specials from Brian Posehn, Wyatt Cenac, Roy Scovel, Matt Besser, and Big J. Okerson, to name a few. CISO has a ton of awesome comedy, so go to CISO.com and start your free trial today. I'm Jesse Thorne, and I'm curious about Jonathan Van Ness and his show, Getting Curious. Who is the show for? Anyone that wants to learn in a way that isn't an aggressive, judgy place. How do you feel when you're doing the show? Sometimes uncomfortable, because I'm in a place where I haven't been before, and I'm doing something I haven't done before. Because you're growing when you're uncomfy. And I do feel like this is a place where I've grown a lot. Getting Curious, a show for your baby brain. Download it wherever you get podcasts. Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. And we're here with Brian McCook. Hi. That's me. You can have a Kit Kat. Have a Kit Kat. Want. Have a Kit yeah. Kat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have as many as you want. There's a donut in there with a Twix inside of it, too. He had a donut. Oh, okay. Oh, it's delicious, right? <laughs> so, good. so good. I just love how pro donut this podcast has become. Really? I, I mean, love a donut. Why would it be anything but? I love a donut. I, I love it way more than a cupcake. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no question. question. Donut wins. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I'm just pro pleasure, like in every way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, pro pleasure. Embrace your inner pleasure. Was that a Tanya? Was that a Tanya talk? It felt like a Tanya to me. Tanya, yeah, or like um, Melanie. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Mel, Mel get, for sure. It's getting Bless. some good Mel vibes. Mm-hmm. Mel's voice. always go by like Mel and then the last initial. Yeah, Mel, Mel C, K. Mel B, Mel yeah, K. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, Mel B, Scary Spice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is great. Really? That's all. She was a judge on Drag Race, and she's like uh, really, she was the best judge ever. I was so just awesome. talking about her last night with some people who didn't know about that Eddie Murphy thing with her. Oh, oh yeah, God, that's crazy. It's so fucked up. Yeah. I don't know what it he's is. Her ba- he's her baby. Yeah, uh, he's her baby, he's daddy, baby, baby daddy. daddy, but he won't admit it or yeah. something. Yeah. He wow. refuses to take a paternity test. Interesting. Yeah. And mm-hmm. there was also um, rumors about him having uh, dalliances with like trans hookers. I've heard, heard about that. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But you know what, though? That could be any man. Because yeah, yeah, give, yeah. pr- give her the program. Every man does yeah, that. Exactly. I mean, not every man. I mean, but, but it's, it's so much more prevalent than you think. I'm yes. sure. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Wait. So, who, like, yo, what's. Besides Mel B, were some other like real fun drag race judges that you've had? Mm. Well, Mel B was awesome. Um, uh, Olivia Newton John. Oh, oh I can see that. She talks so softly so though. I was at this at the edge of the stage where I was closest to her. Yeah. And she kind of whispered like this. I mean, nobody could understand anything she was saying. It was really funny. <laughs> and she was super nice. And then um, uh, this is uh, this is a spoiler. I can't say that. Okay. Um, who I don't know who else. Oh, there was a bad one. I mean, the bad ones have been really bad, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, I was so excited for um, the actor who plays Lafayette in True Blood, or played Lafayette oh, in True Blood. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The really, really flamboyant cook character. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I don't know. 
maybe he was like sick or just like not feeling it that day because he was awful. Oh, that's sad. And he's straight, which is like always a yeah. you know he's a great actor then. Yeah, um, yeah. Because he was so super boring in person. <laughs> 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 that was a bummer though. How that was, sucks. How was yeah. Blondie? I would. That was on. Um. That was on. Oh my god. Season eight, the the one right oh, in between fuck, yeah. in between Sorry. season seven yes. All Stars. No, because it happened yeah, yeah. right after. Um, Blondie and then also Amy Sedaris and David Sedaris. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the Sedaris's would have been a yeah, dream. Yeah, but I'm glad though because if I had done if I had had a bad time in the challenge and like and had done a shitty job and then they said like and they were like oh you're kind of not cool I would have been devastated. Yeah. Right. You can't recover from bad words from that. the Sedarises. I don't ever want to. I've like met her or whatever you know just like at a signing or whatever. She's one of my favorite people in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't want to be her friend and I don't want her to say anything bad about me. So like I don't oh, want to meet yeah. them. Don't meet your idols. You know that's the kind Has of thing. Has anybody done Jerry people. Blink for drag? That would be fun. Oh, that would be a good snatch yeah. game. Was oh, that a whole, challenge? It was a whole challenge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't do it for a snatch game because there's a thing about copywritten characters. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, snatch game works better when you're just lampooning a person. You know what yeah, I mean? That makes sense. Yeah, and um, but uh, yeah, she's a uh, oh man. Uh, Raven actually had done a really li- um, from California. She was on season mm-hmm. two. Like, she uh, did like a really good um, Jerry Blank look. Then yeah, it's so great. Yeah, God, I fucking love her. She's a, is she still waitressing and like having bunnies in her apartment and stuff? I I, I don't know. Like, she, but she <laughs> was on so. recently on um, this uh, Adult Swim like uh, show called The Heart She Holler. Which is the most twisted, oh, I saw that. Appalachian yeah, grotesque mm-hmm. comedy? Yeah, and it, it, she's just she loves to be disgusting. I know. Yes. Yes. She I loves her. to be the most like she. You can tell that she just <laughs> delights in the grotesque, like in yes. the feminine grotesque. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, with like multiple breasts and like scales around her vagina. You know, I mean that yeah. kind of just like the grosser, the grosser, the grosser, the better. And I love that so much. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I just saw that yes. that Cindy Sherman exhibit. And it, that's exactly what it was like. Just like this grotesque, like femininity, just yeah. putting on all these different. Yeah. And she does it all by herself. So I can just imagine her like dressing up. You know, when you like, when you put on makeup and you're like, oh, let me just like put on like that's weird. Like, yeah, just like get yeah. really weird with it. You I can don't tell yeah, she yeah. And goes I, for it. I don't think I've done that since I was a kid with it's makeup where I'm just do. like, let me see how. F- I mean, that, you know, yeah. I did plays and stuff a lot where I would. I mean, I guess I have played characters where I had to make myself look older or yeah. do stuff like that. I but. Love that. Me too. I did it because I was getting rid of a bunch of makeup, so I put it all on at once and just made it look bizarre. <laughs> I think I have a picture of it. It's fucking crazy, awesome. but it's fun to just yeah go for is it. Is makeup what yeah. got you interested in drag? Uh, yeah, it's a part of it, especially like that fork because I always like makeup just in general, not beauty mm-hmm. makeup. But like when you go from like a, f- a f- like a flat nothing face, and you go like, okay, you could go try to make myself the most beautiful or try to make myself the most ugly. Yeah, and yeah. I usually don't. I usually can't get, if. With another drag queen, if they can't get that last fork, if they never wanted to go there, then I usually don't get along with them super well. Um, I could see that. Because yeah. it's just like like the most visible, the most invisible. Yeah. And usually people don't want to be invisible. Right. Um, but like if you've ever wanted to um, be invisible, for, especially for drag queens, they just have to wait till they're old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gay, gay, invisible, uh, gay men are invisible when they're yeah. old in, in a way that like women know nothing about that yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like even, I think it's even worse than women honestly yeah. um, no well, that's not a, true because if you have money then you're okay but, yeah that's true yeah well gay so, culture is like very youth obsessed too just in oh general oh my god yeah, yeah. I think just like concentrated a lot of a lot of the same like the Venn diagram between like gay interests and women's interests are like there's like significant it's a pretty overlap. fat yeah. circle yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Um, mm-hmm. yeah it's crazy well I mean I think what it is well it's like in gay, with gay men it seems kind of, well like gay I mean I'm sorry men like youth yeah mm-hmm. so like yeah in yeah. heterosexual culture that means that like they turn 50 and get their third 25 year old wife but maybe yeah, in gay yeah, culture yeah. it's like it's yeah like, it, but then if you don't oh old and poor that's that's the ultimate invisibility. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, but that's for everyone. I think. Oh, totally. Yeah, and it's yeah. like I used to have nightmares about that. Like not about like Freddy Krueger. I'd be like being poor, when I'm, <gasps> like old. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that's really scary. That's like real world scary. Oh, no, it's true. Like you when know? you were a kid, you had yeah. that nightmare. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. That's an old so an old person at a bus stop will send me into a spiral. It oh, just yeah. like freaks me out so bad to be like. <sighs> See, yeah. I absolutely <sighs> adore old people. Oh, I, I, I love, I love talking. I really I like them. It's weird. Like I find the people I get along with very naturally are like 12 year olds and 80 year olds. Oh, interesting. I love both of those. Like I really like old people to me. Like I've just always vibed with them. I, I yeah, adore yeah. old people, like, but aging fucking terrifies me. Sure. I think it doesn't terrify me as much because I've taught senior citizens aerobics and like met. Right, and you know, it's just life. <laughs> the thing is, life life yeah, just yeah. happens yeah. and you get more happier as you get older. Life happens you're just like, who gives a shit? And you get happier and like, and also you have actually a fairly large degree of choice in terms of how you're going to age. 
You want to exercise yeah. and not eat yeah, like that's shit? True. You're going to be a much happier yeah. old person. I know that from people. Yeah, when I taught yourself. exercise to old people, I was like, oh, everyone just move your fucking ass and you'll be fine. Yeah. Stop being lazy, you 85 That's your version of, get, <laughs> your version of get move, of, of yeah. uh, Michelle Obama's like get moving. Yeah. Move your fucking ass and you'll be fine. <laughs> just throwing people out of wheelchairs all over the place. Oh, can you, can you curse on this? Oh, yeah. No oh, fucking okay. oh, yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we've talked about fucking in a pool, but you can't. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's play our game. Let's, let's uh, play our, yeah. our uh, little, you're going to get to hear one of our theme songs. Yes. Here. Oh, great. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who, what, where, when, who, what? Where, when, who, what, where, when, who, what, where, when, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sad we don't have the old lady problem so I know. I know. I know. It's, it's right. okay. Um, okay, so I, I think you can tell the name of the game, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the Feast of All Saints. Yeah. Who, yeah. <laughs> what, where, when, why? Um, yeah. We'll just ask you some random questions. Just say whatever you want. You can interpret really. them however you want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, They're yeah. mostly pretty straightforward. They're pretty straightforward. Um, who were your childhood heroes? Oh, um, who were my childhood? Uh, my, somebody like, um, oh, uh, uh, what's it? Jem? Yeah. Oh, Jem yeah. and holograms. That yes. was that one. Shira. Yeah. Um, anybody, any woman with power who was also sexy. Yes. Or smart or both. Yeah. Nice. Three, yeah. Hell yeah. Were you into like the, the pop icons, like the divas? No, I liked more superheroes, like that kind of stuff. Like people uh-huh. who could make, make really crazy shit happen. Like Wonder yeah. Woman. Always woman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like later on when Kill Bill was like, that came out, that was oh, like a real woman. So in, oh my God. I, just I can see your them. drag being oh. really Kill Bill influenced actually. I love all those. I mean, all those women, the mm-hmm. whole, you know, the Daryl Hannah's character. And then, God, she's and amazing. Then, it's Lucy Liu's character, like all the different characters. Oh, oh, you had, you just had your uh, your eye patch, which yeah, that's like, yeah, like L Driver, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Yes. I love that. It's like I love superheroes too, but usually that it gets a little too like out of this world, you know. They can't yeah. make it, but Kill Bill is a perfect superhero movie. Oh my god, Amazing. isn't it? Those yeah. movies are beautiful. Oh, so I love good. those. I, w- I want to watch those again right now. Yeah, I just watched it a couple weeks ago. It's amazing. <gasps> that scene where she's stuck in there and she has to get it out with her foot, where she has to kick open the. That's oh, so yeah, suspenseful. Very alive. I know. Oh, and then there's a great kung amazing. fu like teaching montage in the middle uh-huh. of that. Yes. It's great. <laughs> it's so fucking good. It's so good. I, I love kung fu movies. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I like okay. it, but I like I want to see women in them. Yeah, like, yes. that's the you know. Mm-hmm. Have you seen Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? Yeah. See, I think right. like that kind of shit. Yeah, and there's a lot of like really powerful, like not um, victim women in those movies. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Are you into like uh, Ronda Rousey and that kind of? I don't know what that is. You know who Ronda Rousey is? <laughs> no, she's a UFC friend. You'll love her. Fighter? She's so awesome. Is it UFC? I don't know about UFC fighting. Just, though. you don't have to it's... watch the fighting. You can just follow her on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay attention to what she does, darling. Just look at her. <laughs> what is it, Ronda what? Ronda Rousey is her Ronda name. Rousey. And she, it's actually really, really cool because okay. UFC is a really like burgeoning sport. It is incredibly violent. Yeah, it is. I um, mean, bare I, hands, no pads, right? Uh, yeah. 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 That's insane. But, but you know, everyone kind of knows what they're doing and usually sure. it's fine. And like, to but me, I mean, I can see not wanting to watch. I don't really like yeah. watching that kind of I stuff. I don't know why. It's maybe kind of weird that I like boxing and UFC because I'm like a pacifist vegetarian. Yeah, it's super weird. <laughs> yeah, so talk about it. What okay. Is the word? Um, well, I mean, to me, I find it very similar to dancing. Like, I, to yeah. watching, she's, yeah. so she's really, um, Oh, she's gorgeous. She's like, not at all what I had pictured in my she's mind. Beautiful. And she's just like super ripped and like, yeah. And UFC is mm-hmm. it's probably yeah. I would think the most egalitarian sport. Isn't she gorgeous? And also uh, like yeah, she's just like a total because, badass. A yeah, total badass and like the uh, the the height of like athletic femininity. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's why I love about her so much is like she is strong and like her beauty comes from her strength. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. she's well, so- also she's like from hair and makeup too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And she, they sometimes they make her action. She's bad at it, but um. <laughs> Like the WWE. She was in that Mission Impossible. She was in Mission Impossible. Oh, oh, gotcha. She was yeah, in the Fast yeah, yeah. and Furious. Oh, okay, okay. But, um, I thought you meant like in the, the no you acting in the UFC though. No, no, no. No, no, no yeah, no, they don't no. have like wrestling yeah. like no, intros. She's no. kind of cool though. She's, she's such had a good character. She's such a good fighter. This is crazy unprecedented because UFC is obviously a very male dominated market. Yeah. She I mean, she was recently defeated, but she and she, she's when she fights, she's the title fight. Okay, gotcha. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And so the women, the female card is on the same card as the men. And not only is it on the same card as the men, but the ty- the prime time fight of the night is two women. Right, wow. right. So it's a very kind of cool sport because the stars are coming out to be women and men watch the women. And like these, there's no other area really in sports where like the females are 
starting to be as like visible and respected oh, and dude. viewed on an yeah. equal yeah. playing field. So it's kind of like awesome. I want and I want to know sweet. like from I want to know like when a, a room full of men who are watching that fight, I want to know which ones of them honestly like what what is their thinking about? I think they're seriously watching the. Fight. She's a really fun fighter to watch. Like, because okay. like. I mean, it's funny, but what I like about fighting is like the story behind it and like the rivalries and it is kind of, there's like that wrestling element there's where it's kind of, for sure. yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, there's that building up to it, but then, and it doesn't bother me because they're both like consenting adults and they're well-trained. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nobody's and, coerced in it. So and it's, and to it. me, it's yeah, a lot yeah. like watching people dance together or fuck. It's like, how are you going to, there's sort of like an, a real intimacy you have to have with someone to fight with them. Well, they're in the you know those moments when they're resting and the boxers are like right, hugging each right. other. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so bizarre to me. That's it is very intimate. Yeah. yeah, like there's some really good fighters who like who like barely move at all. Mm-hmm. Who it's just really about how they're like taking it slow. I mean, everyone has like a really different fighting style, and there's some people who like in the first round they're just really good at dodging punches yeah, and the conserving their play. energy. Yeah. yeah. It is the total it could be the yeah, and then the knockout is the orgasm. Yeah, but yeah. knockouts also aren't super, super common. Oh right, because that's like fantasy land. That's like when in the action movie when I punch yeah. you and your oh. lights get knocked out. Although like, Rhonda yeah. had a knockout, so she had a rivalry with this woman who just was like talking shit, said shit because Rhonda Rousey's dad killed himself and the her rival said something oh, about God. it. So there's this crazy uh-uh. So that fight, Rhonda just calmly walked in the ring. That fight was 14 seconds long. Oh, it my God. She chance. walked in the ring and knocked that girl out in 14 seconds. And afterwards, she just goes, <laughs> I would just like to say uh, you don't say anything bad about my family. Yeah. Do you guys feel like that? <laughs> that's like the fucking godfather. Yeah. I mean, that's just like. Do you oh guys feel God. like I've Sleep had, not that I've ever knocked. That's a movie. Right. That happened in real life? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've See, never knocked like anyone her. out, but when somebody, when I have some personal shit going on and I go on stage, those are always my best sets. Yeah. So oh, I need yeah. someone to come to say it. something to me about my yeah. dad who killed himself yeah. before I perform. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Come to me. Yes. Yeah. Way you can. Well, that's yeah. what Beyonce says. Come at me. In yeah. the HBO documentary, Life is But a Dream, uh, Beyonce <laughs> says, I love when someone pisses me off right before I go on stage. I love it. Seriously, because like you, I that energy yeah. you you know you bring. Yeah. 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 Well, because you don't give a fuck about what people think. You're oh, just see, like, I this is my true. I don't want any of that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like, you can do it. I, you're great. You can do it. You know, I did like the opposite. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Well, let's ask our, ne- our next okay. Okay. question. Oh yeah. So, what is your favorite aspect of drag? Um, what's my favorite aspect of drag? Well, it's not shoes. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd say I. Mm, Favorite, favorite. It's hard because there's so many different ones. I mean, it's yeah. a very yeah. simple question well, we're asking about. No, because but, but yeah. drag, though, it's different, though, because there's like, it's literally the limits of it are whatever your brain says. Yeah, it can be yeah. anything. Acting, dancing, mm-hmm. um, being a social person. You know, there's all these different. I'd probably say um, like the the acting part. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would say the acting part, like the what you do, the performance part. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're so strong in that. I mean, like it's like. Well, I'm not a like, good actor, actor, but you can just you can. But dress you take up on like the anybody. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah the yeah. character stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it I like I like drag queens who um, there's many. Most of them just play one character mm-hmm. just because that's like um, efficient. It makes sense. Like, and that's marketable. Yeah, you know, right, you have, right, like, 400 right. Four hundred characters, then you have to call yourself your your regular name, and you do. Yeah. But um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. I also really like the fashion part of it. Mm. Yeah. But it gets murky, though, because then you have to think about, like, um, if you're just aspiring to, like, rich femininity mm. or, like, stylish femininity. And more and more stylish femininity is just, like, rich, you yeah. know? And then um, then you're just kind of, like, towing the party line and not, like, critiquing anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. And, like, that's something I've noticed, actually, like, on the show. Like, I think Brandy and I have talked about this, where it's, like, mm-hmm. it's kind of interesting, like, the cla- – um, oh, my God, why am I blanking the, on her name right now? You can sense the classism on, on the <gasps> yeah. show. Oh, well, the show, the show skews towards fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, of course. And drag is not um, – no. drag has not traditionally been about mm-hmm. fashion. The, every drag queen has been poor. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone. You know what I mean? Of Most course. drag queens are fucking poor. You're you know, artists. Like, yeah, yeah, poor working mm-hmm. artists and like you're literally scamming like yeah. hooking during the day mm-hmm. to like and then performing at night. You know, that's like that's the kind of drag that I know. You know what mm-hmm. and right. I mean? And I like a lot. Um and you it's it's like the the bed sheet version of the uh Armani gown or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. But uh when it and then so what happens when you give drag money, it just goes and goes and buys the Armani gown? Like that's yeah. not doesn't it's seem not- right. That's well, that's what I liked yeah. about Chi Chi yeah. so much last season. Yeah. Like, and that's why oh, I yeah, really yeah. fell she in love with her because yeah. I, I loved her like scrappy pride. Like, where she was like, "I'm fucking making this work on nothing." And like, to yeah. me, yeah. there was I loved watching her do that, and to me, that was so interesting and yeah. so compelling to watch and see. Yeah. Like, but you know what? In the the show, 
and the show does something, the next thing that the show does and is all about is really important because it absolutely rewards substance over style. Definitely. Yes. And if you have talent, you have real discernible talent, especially mm-hmm. more than than just what is traditionally in the drag community, oh, they will they will yeah. give you the fucking crown. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. they don't say that ever explicitly, but yeah. that's what they'll do. Mm-hmm. And it's great. And it, of course, like, the visual part of it is so important, so you can't look a mess. Like, p- people just no. dismiss you as something else. Then go be an actor, go be a comedian, go whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, they. I love that about the show. Well, that's what I love about just RuPaul's whole flow. Like, there's so many things about RuPaul that just, like, inspire me and yeah. fucking mm-hmm. bless. But, uh, you know, but I just love... The, that and it's, it might sound kind of trade, but just the idea of like just be you, and that will be the best thing you can do. I know that's like so trite, but it's like the the queens that like really just are honest about yeah. what they have. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just so obvious. Yeah, can I? I yeah. wait. So I love. There's um the one of the things I I I was I, I was supposed to say it somewhere, and then I didn't. I have the guts to because it kind of like it's um because RuPaul also is very like a, a big uh, supporter of that kind of um, yeah. You know, of course you have to be yourself. And I said, like, just be yourself. And if no one likes that, change. Because I was like, I was like, oh my God, no. Because it's like, I'm definitely trying to be myself, but I've always been myself. So for people yeah. who are, are living a lie, you know, mm-hmm. like, or, or in these situations that are really tough for them to be themselves, they need to be themselves. But like, if you're lucky enough to have been supported mm-hmm. from the, the get go, which is rare. And I am like lucky for that. Um, you have to be better. Yeah. That like you have so what is it like what's true to me but also like a better person? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do how do you because ascend yourself? Like, yeah, how do I just yeah. get better? How do I get yeah. better at like because my instincts all they're very me. Some mm-hmm. of them are really awful, you know, <laughs> like some of them are really terrible. So um, I agree too because it's like, yeah, be just you, but, but like I'm pretty step. like it's like yeah, well, but then I'm only obsessed with myself and that isn't right. good. So right. I do yeah, need yeah. to push well, myself. No. It's making but it, creating the best version of yourself. Right, right, right. But you gotta find out who the fuck you are first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of kids don't even know they're fucking gay. Yeah. Or whatever, or mm-hmm. they're in these situations where, like, you're in, you're in Oklahoma, or I don't want to, I don't know about Oklahoma, but some place yeah. where it, that's not tolerant and, and supportive. Mm-hmm. Because I get emails all the time from people like, I just, or you know, I am, um, I'm about to marry this girl, and I don't have the courage to tell her that I'm gay. Oh, I'm like, oh my oh, god, oh, no. like, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Jesus Christ! Is it yeah. stressful to get those emails? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I um, I delete them all. No, I'm, <laughs> I, uh, I just I can't. I mean, I'm not that person, but you know. Right. But yeah, that, yeah. the fact that that still happens. Yeah. It's and it's so bad. And to women, the women are never talked about in these scenarios. How mm-hmm. like? Thank you. Can you I imagine know. being a woman? Only not- Julianne Moore plays these characters. Yes, she exactly <laughs> does. She does. She's the ultimate female victim. Yes. yes. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> that quiet desperation that's just like unraveling. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Far from heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, but it's—I mean—that's really a shitty thing to do to someone. Can you imagine feeling that's a like shitty thing to and do not to knowing, not having this, like the this, this satisfaction of knowing that oh, he's just a goddamn queer. Yeah. But like yeah. my husband doesn't love me. I'm disgusting every day. Because every day. I, I we're taught to feel inadequate all the time. Oh. So then, of course, yeah, you're gonna yourself. think it's you. Yeah. At least you get, at the very least you get banged out by your husband every night and then just yeah. feel like oh, okay, great. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you deserve <laughs> a dick that wants yeah. to fuck you. You do. Every yes, woman, you're ladies. listening. You're listening. And young boys. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in Salt Lake City, so. I, you know, and I was a theater nerd, so I had so many guys who were friends who couldn't come out or didn't know they were gay, <sighs> yeah. you know, more grew up Mormon and just couldn't do it. And it is so nice to see many of them now on Facebook with their boyfriends, with the ones yeah. who yeah. like realized it. But yeah. then there are guys who, and maybe I'm wrong, you know, who knows, but who I do think were gay, who did get married and stuff. I I'm, swear there's one from my hard. high school and it'll bother me. I need to know the truth. Yeah. And like, <laughs> and I need to know, I knew he was gay in high school, but we were in different social circles. We could not have anything to do with each other. Yeah. And he got married and there are kids and I know, but I know he's gay. I, I just know it. I just know too. it. Yeah. And I'm dying to, I'm dying to find out. Has he gone super right wing? Do you know? I think he. I think he um, is definitely right of center. Yeah, because the one in clean one, cut J Crew kind of yeah, deal. Yeah, same. Same in my high school. Intolerant parents. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, like moved to North Carolina. Was a science teacher. Is now like a evangelical preacher's assistant or yeah. something. Has and, three kids. Yeah, and, and like, he is sucking Ugh. dick. You know what annoys yeah. me? On the side. No way, there's, a, there's just no way. One I mean, thing yeah. that drives me crazy about all this yep. is like it's so easily fixable because kids will know whatever you tell them. So all we have to. It's so. It's so simple just to tell kids. Some people are gay. Some people are straight. Uh, no big deal. You'll find out later. You ready Boom. For, done. Literally you ready for it? math? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. That's, all that's it. it. That's One it generation is. and it is just yeah. gone. All you yeah. have to do. I mean, I mean, because, you know, I have, I have friends with kids who are being raised in progressive situations that uh, 
it, all that is such a simple thing. I yeah. mean, all it's like teach them that, and then the color wheel. I don't it know. It's adding it's, another yeah, kids, life problem that's kids don't unnecessary. Care. It's so unnecessary. unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. It's just log- it's a like logistical antagonistic thing that hasn't been mm-hmm. fixed. And that it's like, ruins people's lives. Right. It's like yeah. getting back to square one is hard for anybody. Like yeah. life is hard square one for yes. everybody. Yeah. But you're just saying with gay people, okay, you have another thing to get. Here's it's another like, thing to do. Yeah. Like, come on. Just because yeah. we couldn't be bothered to give people this piece of information? Yeah. Well, I we do think we know. go, it's like we said, it is changing, though. Like, the guys is. younger than 25 it are, yes. it, it is. But the geographic isolation enough. of this country, yeah. like, permits pockets that endure generation but after generation. But at least generation. the internet exists, though, so these kids yes. can't. Yeah, they find they out the truth, out. and then yeah. Granny just needs to die. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then, yeah. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's true, because everything is accessible, even in those pockets, like, through the internet. Yeah. Yeah, it's just annoying while it's still happening, though. Well, yeah, it's yeah. like it's hard to see the progress taking so long. Right, because it's like it's yeah. like why has there never been a black bachelor? Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> because literally, <laughs> like, no, well, yeah. because I'm like serious though, like true, that's, though. It, that's yeah. there's been what seventy nine seasons of that show. Oh well, think about it. I mean, th- that person is like the li- the the apex of masculine, uh, like what we want in a man. Yeah. Yes. And mm-hmm. we don't want a black man. No, no. they no. won't even get no. to final four. No, I hear you. no they don't even... it would have to be. A, it would be such a statement by the the, the oh, network. That, yeah, it yeah. would have to be. It would have to be like. Uh, it would have to be a. And that's thing, what's so you know? yeah. funny is it's like not a statement at all. No. It was just like just no, do it, and everyone you'll yeah. still have just as many fucking people watching it. No one will give a shit. I don't know though because there's. I mean, there's so much. I mean, this country is so racist. Mm, it's it's so 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 bad and like so and embarrassing. The, the, but the the level between like totally not racist and very uh, aware and like mm-hmm. woke quote unquote as they say yeah. and like um. You know the uh, cross burning and the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. The the ground in between that is like super huge. Oh, it's, yeah. And a lot of people who are really nice, wonderful, compassionate people. Mm-hmm. That's I mean, the yeah. problem. There's, I mean, there's so many wonderful. About it. But I think yeah. what's what's what people need to realize is that we live in a time where your reality is very much curated. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Like, so, and, and I think that piece of information, you know, I think it's very uh, easy for us woke people to be like, fuck you people, how could you fucking think that? But then it's like, yeah. maybe in order to make some progress, we need to be more like, oh, how could they think that? Oh, maybe it's because they're seeing all these really scary things on yeah. Facebook and they don't have yeah. any access to this yeah. information. And mm-hmm. like, I think as much as it sickens us all to even think about having a conversation with like a Donald Trump supporter, we don't mm-hmm. even want to talk and think those people exist. They yeah. have guns and shit, so like I guess we should figure out how to like I don't know. <laughs> no, talk to them. Yeah. You have to, no, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, as like people who are as an, as an aware white person who's trying to be more aware, mm-hmm. uh, that's the one thing. And as an effective communicator, that's what that's like. Oh, duh. That's how that's how I can actually help and in like in the process learn more about it. Yeah. Because I talked to some guy in, in uh, South Florida who was who said the N word, N word, N word. And I was in his living room. Oh my god! And I was Oof. like, "All right, so this is an intimate situation where I don't want to like challenge his racism like ex- explicitly." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and I was—I don't remember what I said, but what the gist of the, what he explained was that I'm not—I don't say the n-word to mean a black person. I just anybody who's a lazy fuck. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "What? Um, okay, <laughs> yeah, so, you gotta... so right. So yeah. regardless of whether that's the truth, I was like, that's really interesting information. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. right. So like. And, and so, like, you're demonizing. Um, so, a black person is a, is a mascot for this group of people that you're demonizing. People who are like, who don't pull their weight, who are lazy, mm-hmm. mooch off the system, quote unquote. Yeah, all yeah. things which black people and other minorities have been accused of. Right. Um, yeah. So it's just fascinating to see how like actual that overt racism functions in a human body. Mm-hmm. Right. You it, know, it, it, in real time, in front of me. It's and weird it's just, to see it in the wild. Yeah. Because you hear about it. Yeah. 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 But in this guy, I don't want to kill this guy. You know. No, and, and that's um, the thing. It's like, right, exactly. It's not like, oh, well, he should be put to, to death. So it's more like, okay. Okay, how can we like realistically start to get these people information? Yeah, the truth. How do yeah, we all yes. come closer <laughs> to the truth? <laughs> you know, it's weird yeah. because that is the bad thing about the internet too is that people are able to find whatever weird version that they yes. want to believe. To back yeah. also, or just a counterpoint. Like, exactly. I mean, point, the Twitter is yeah. like, okay, there's a point where I can't. There's nothing can happen more here. Exactly. Because this person's yeah. like, no, racism doesn't exist. That's the great, ar- you know, yeah. that's the argument for a lot of racists. Yes. You yeah. know, and we're like, in a post-racial America, and it's quote yeah, unquote. because people it's not who illegal argue anymore. against like affirmative action and stuff like that, <laughs> right? Just like, well, that's you know, that's they're racist towards us. Yeah, they're just yeah, yeah. lazy and not able to take you know advantage mm-hmm. of the American dream. And right, I mean, right. we've really lost. Um, and I mean, I, I wonder if like is it, I don't know. We've lost. We don't care about whether things are factual anymore. 
Uh-uh. And, I, and I, I'm a yeah. big, I love like, I love the old school newspapers. Like mm-hmm. I said, I love the New York Times. I, 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 and people are like, oh, the news media isn't telling you this. And like, I, I have people that tell me like, oh, the media isn't telling you this. I'm like, actually they are. I read the paper every day and you guys aren't reading Oh, you, it. Don't, you don't give a shit. You're, like, that crazy don't shit give a is shit. happening in yeah. the world. Actually, yeah. and you are being told about it. You're yeah. choosing not to read it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, then when, <laughs> and then all, the only thing like on the uh, television that people that gets paid attention to is what people are watching and then advertise. You know, it's like a yeah. How does that? How, how, how is that like okay? Like, I mean, you know, with the whole Trump thing, it's just because he's ratings, so yeah. that's you see more of him and mm-hmm. only him. Yeah, and not like boring Jewish man who's rallying on about policy. Right. You know, yeah. like so. <laughs> yeah. How do you, do you know what I mean? Like, how is that? How is that okay? I, I think it's just, it's not that it's okay, it's that there's nothing we can do about it. Because it's much more compelling. A, a train wreck is always much more compelling. Sure, and totally. It and I, that's it. Yeah, you agree on that. But then it's like, uh, well then, why, I don't know. Because we live in a society that is like built around capitalism. Capitalism that's, needs you need to make the most money. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working. It's not all the way capitalism no. is not the way to go. No. All the way capitalism isn't the way to go and like this clickbait Mm-hmm. economy situation i i mean because oh, i yeah. work i write for the internet and uh-huh. like i i feel like i have a weird behind the curtain view of it uh-huh. um and i've like i've written for like a mainstream like corporate news place and i i've looked at the traffic reports every day and mm-hmm. it's really depressing because what we have what to do is, is what does it say what happens is like we'll make like a crazy that's something that's really thoughtful and well researched and okay. that actually has an interesting story and it does garbage traffic but we ran it because we wanted to write something real okay oh, gotcha. then we'll write something that's like then we would write something that was like uh, things that you can tell about a guy based on his shoes. Fluff. And that would yeah, just, just fl- bo- yeah, yeah. but it's just bullshit. And that would go bonkers. So then we have to have shit that does good traffic to make money. So we would just make more of that. So every day as you, the writer, yeah. you're coming in and you're like, all right, I guess we'll make more of that. Yeah. And so you that's don't, just that ultimate human cliche is that people just want shit, not the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. So, I mean, I think that's, I mean, that if, if I have a message for anyone, it's stop clicking on bullshit. Yeah. I'm dead serious. Oh, the, com- the yeah. consumer has enormous um, power. Yeah. You do. You really yeah, do. You really and like, do. and I'll just out this right now too. The Huffington Post doesn't pay their writers. So please stop giving them traffic. Thank you. Thank you. The shade yes. of it all. The dungeon had my fan. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> not even having to post gay voices. None of it. I mean, yeah. especially not the you gay voices. You know what's voices. bullshit? Not, no. Maybe if gay voices, if it's a celebrity, they pay their celebrity writers. Oh. Yeah. God. So there you go. You should be ashamed <laughs> of yourself. <laughs> 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 she should. She went to the White House Correspondent Dinner with the fat Jew. Oh, yeah. th- that's uh, that. Just that, stunt, that really queen. just sums it, that <laughs> sums it all queen. up. Stunt queen. <laughs> she is a stunt Bro. queen. Is a stunt They're queen. both stunt queens. Well, he's yeah. the I ultimate mean, yeah, candy bar. If you're bar going to Huffington yeah. Post for yeah. your news, that is uh, but a lot of people go to the Huffington Post for their news. <sighs> yeah. A lot. And honestly, that's like best case scenario, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're not Huff going Huff? for that. I'm going to yeah. go home and yeah. figure out a way to block them on my computer. I mean, but how else are we going to research like crazy news stories for packets we're never going to get jobs for? Uh, I have some I mean there's by, uh, I can give you some companies okay great yeah. <laughs> that was inside baseball but um, we're, we're gonna be back in a second bye bye back. bye bye We are back. I'm Tess Barker. I'm Barbara Gray. I'm Brandy Posey. And I'm Katya or Brian or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Whatever you want. To, okay, we're, you said you love to give advice, right? Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing a self-help book right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh my I, God. I, I love am a person it. that doesn't know how to do anything. So yeah. I figured that's per, you know that's perfect. Oh, that's the same with <gasps> that's us. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah same. Yeah. I love that. I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to take care of myself. Mm-hmm. I like basic hygiene. I don't know how to do consistent <laughs> um like really uh, rudimentary self care things, so I'm I'm like yeah. So is that the book you're going to be like learning how to do those things? No, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna tell other people what I think is the best way. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be perfect for this. Segment. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's great. Fuck um, yeah. yeah, if you have a lady problem, write to us at lady to lady at maximumfun dot org. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Getting digital. <laughs> lady. <laughs> lady problems. Oh yeah. Lady. Lady problems. Lady problems. Do you have them? <laughs> Lady problems. You can. You okay. can. Do you have them? People have them. <laughs> <laughs> Not just ladies. <laughs> Sometimes. Everybody does. 
Lots of people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, join our uh, Facebook group. There's a lot of good stuff going on there. Lady to Lady podcast. People yeah. are writing and asking for advice on mm-hmm. there, and mm-hmm. and uh, listeners are talking to each other. Yeah, so, like, if you have something, because we don't always record exactly right before it's going to get released, etc. So if you have like something you need advice on, stat. Mm. Yeah, maybe hit the Facebook. Hit the brain. Oh, the brain. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Call nine one. F- yeah, nine one one. If you're, if you're bleeding. Yeah. yeah, hi ladies. I'm getting robbed right now. Uh, <laughs> 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 like, first of all, are you terrified? And yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't obviously don't listen to the podcast. So. <laughs> mm. Okay, here we go. Hi, ladies. So I'm pretty nervous to even be typing this, so I'll get right into it. I'm a teenage girl who has been watching and jerking off to lesbian porn for a long time now. Probably not where I expected it to go. I know. I would say that I would say for how long, but I'd feel embarrassed. Oh, fuck it. I've been watching it (laughs) since I was probably 12, 13. But even before that, I remember being turned on by women before I even knew what the feeling was. I just remember feeling ashamed, and I still do. Through those experiences, I've come to the realization that I am sexually attracted to mainly only women, but still romantically attracted to men. I couldn't imagine myself being romantic and being in a relationship with a woman like that. I still find men sexually attractive and sometimes fantasize about having sex with men, but doesn't really excite me as much as having sex with a woman does. But whenever I think about that, I feel guilty and ashamed. No one else knows about this, so naturally I'm writing to you for it to be broadcasted. Mm, Good. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) My parents have also said on multiple occasions that nothing good ever comes from porn, whatever that's supposed to mean. (laughs) I feel so embarrassed and ashamed about this whole situation. (laughs) Since you ladies seem confident in your sexualities, I need some support or validation or just some thoughts on my situation. Is my feeling ashamed from from me just trying to get over society, trying to place people in a heteronormative box? Yes. Or is there something (laughs) else going on? Is Is it possible to only be romantically attracted to one gender and then be sexually attracted to a different one? Thank you, ladies, so much. I'm a big fan. Um, and then she says a bunch of nice things to us. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, well, nothing you know. good comes from porn except come. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah come. That's yeah. what comes come, from And come is yeah. wonderful. That's and, why you watch uh, and sometimes you need a safe place to come. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what porn is. And then I think a lot of bad situations are averted because of porn sometimes. Well, yeah. let's, yeah. let's, I mean, she says the word ashamed like yeah. 10 times. So she yeah, feels yeah, yeah. ashamed. So that's How do we up. get rid of her shame? Yeah. So, uh, um, I mean, yeah, I can personally identify a lot with this. I watched lesbian porn a lot when I was younger. Um, mm-hmm. I never acted on it till recently in my life. I'm bisexual, which I've never said on the podcast before. So there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, uh, it, I think it is possible to be, I mm-hmm. mean, it sexual sexuality is fluid. There isn't, Oh, black. It's not black and white. You know, oh, yeah. not, I don't definitely. think that's not them. For her, that's like that's a lifelong just, um, process of discovery. Yeah, right. So, well, yeah. who's creating the shame and how do you get rid of that? That's the thing because that's I mean, the at the question. end of the day, well, her yeah, parents are creating. The yeah, shame. so they're not helping. Yeah. This is, obviously, this is first yeah. and foremost. Yeah, because like what she, who and what she ends up wanting to sl- sleep with and date, that's going to be a process yeah, and a thing and anything. Mm-hmm. But that that's not going to go well until you get rid of the shame. Shame, yes. exactly. That's got to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I think if this helps do it all with the shame, like. It's been scientifically proven that that almost everyone exists on some kind of a spectrum. Sure. Like there's, yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah, it's it, it, it's just true. Yeah, I mean, there. you're in the yeah. norm. You're in the majority, actually. Like, and it's, there's no value though. There's none of those placements have any value. No, like no. none of them. Like no. hard, hard, straight, just straight, straight, straight versus. I mean, they're all no, the same value. That's like, right. All the yes. shame applies value. Yeah. So exactly. there's no way you can get to that. Like any knowledge of that uh, spectrum with mm-hmm. shame. No because the spectrum doesn't that side it doesn't matter no it no doesn't, because only, the thing has a value right the only thing that matters is if it's kids or non-consensual well that's yes. I mean, yeah i mean yeah sex that isn't consensual that is just rape so sure. don't rape anyone yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> good hey number one to-do list today don't <laughs> rape anyone. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah so but yeah once once everything's consensual then that's literally the only value you need to make in a sexual situation yeah. i mean yeah if, if you're safe and, and happy and comfortable and enjoying what you're doing that is literally right all but, you need to worry but about. it is oh, very hard i i deal a lot with like shame issues involving mm-hmm. sex you know and yeah because if you if you feel like you're a little bit outside of the mm-hmm. norm you do you do that to yourself you yeah. know yeah. you just Tell yourself you're wrong or tell yourself yeah. it's not okay. And that usually for, especially with men, I feel like the sexual urges are so, um, they, they're, you can't ignore them so that the shadowy behavior will ensues. For example, the yes. hundreds, I don't know if it's hundreds, but of men who are uh, out of the, 
in the closet or or not open with their desires about wanting to have sex with a drag queen or a trans woman, mm -hmm. um, married, you know, partnered, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, if they all knew about each other, <laughs> it would be amazing. Like, I mean, yeah. it would be incredible. But it just they, it's the ultimate taboo. They can't talk to their friends about it. Yeah, yet, and that yet, taboo to needs get to get fucking because that yeah, is where yeah. violence and stuff comes. You yeah, know, that's, that's when, when people they, get hurt. Yeah, yeah, they come that that urge is gone, and now they're and now they they just kill that trans woman. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know I, I mean? think what this mm -hmm. all this is the same problem as the rape problem as the uh i think police brutality i mean i think almost every problem in the world is related to this idea that gender exists yeah like yeah. It, it, th that you have a box that you have to fit in mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. a story mm -hmm. but it's you know what's so story i feel like the, i think though the the gender identity stuff like there is there is um there <sighs> You can't. I, th I think it's a really tall order to ask people just to just like um, erase or or ignore gender identity because it it does work as a function of like categorizing life into a kind of a way that makes sense. But it's yeah. not like it, it's too, when it's too rigid, it doesn't work. I think we're viewing it in the wrong way as a society though, because yeah. I think there are such things as masculine and feminine yeah. energies. Yeah, totally. And I think yeah. we need to be much more realistic about the fact that everyone has both or should have both. Can contain yeah. both. We as a society yeah. need both and everything. I, I My personal view is that it works better when it's in equilibrium and I think that right now we're kind of tilting towards way too masculine aggro. Yeah, because yeah, 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 we're yeah, killing yeah. everybody in the world. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so killing I, and raping. Killing and raping. That's all we're doing. So it'd be like dope to kick that down a notch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I didn't mean I didn't mean that you don't have a gender identity. I, I guess I meant gender identity as we view it, the traditional yeah. quote unquote gender. Yeah. Like, and that's different culture to culture right yeah and also time and time yeah yeah Ugh. i mean do you guys think so she's wondering like well yeah obviously the shame thing is the first mm -hmm. thing to yeah. deal with because she sounds alone too she, she sounds, sounds alone. very yeah. isolated and that's why i wanted to say mm -hmm. like i really i honestly identify with with this a lot and maybe you don't ever want to be with a woman you know maybe you do only want to be romantically with men mm -hmm. i thought growing up that men was mo i watched a lot of lesbian porn i think because i dick scared me or whatever well it's also uh, just also. like they're kinder to each other yeah so, and it yeah, just it was softer form. it was easier to watch oh, but i watched yeah, yeah. i watched a lot of that growing up and and but it still was only romantically with men you know yeah and then um and then yeah was with a woman and realized that okay like i do mm. like this in real life not just important and maybe that's not what she maybe she does only want that but i don't think you don't have to take it out. You don't have to qualify yourself as like, I'm only no. romantically yeah, interested no. in women. Or don't men. worry about that. Yeah. Get the it's shame not. out of it. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's the shame's coming in. It feels like she's, tr the shame is sort of like around this sort of like, how am I, but, but what box do I fit in? Sure. It's like you right. fit in and the you, you box. Yeah. yeah. You fit yeah. in like the, I think it, the most important thing is like, take everything like situation by situation. Like if you want to sleep with someone, whatever, they, I don't know, sleep with them. Yeah, yeah. it's a person yeah. thing, and that's it's yeah. not. And sometimes it won't, you won't expect it, but it, you might meet a woman that you're attracted to that you do want to pursue something with, and yeah, yeah, that'll be okay. You know, it's not. It, you don't have to exactly. Choose that and right if you now. like defined yourself completely and rigidly, it's like there's there's no room for growth. Like life is about growth, and your gender yeah. and sexuality. Can I be guess a part of that. the question is, it's like, mm -hmm. what if she if she is not sexually attracted to men at all? And you have to be okay sounds with... Like she is, though. She is, though. Oh, she is? Yeah. Yeah, she sometimes fantasizes about having sex with men. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess then it's just... Yeah, it's just a person-to-person -person thing. Yeah, I think it's so a person-to-person -person yeah. thing. I think you're... A lady-to-lady lady thing. Lady, yeah. 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 Lady it's lady. literally a lady-to-lady lady thing. <laughs> lady uh, lady. Uh, you're, I mean, yeah, you're I think also you're, a, teen a teenager, a so teenager. you're just like a little yeah. like ball of hormones anyway that yeah. doesn't know... Find friends on the internet. Shit. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. like that's, if, if, mm -hmm. you know, if she lives, I don't know where she lives, but yeah, um, I, I was like in starting adolescence at the time of like AOL was like screeching up, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, the, um, <laughs> and, uh, that was like, I was goth and really weird You're and goth? yeah. And nobody was like, so I found all these. Used to like order, you know, German industrial music CDs from like you know, <laughs> Berlin, and then like, yeah. you know, on the, through the mail, and then mm -hmm. I, my whole life was like not in my, you know, suburban town. Totally, but that was important. Yeah, I, mean, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine how isolating it would that would feel. And like you had like yeah. pretty supportive. Parents. Oh, and my parents were amazing. Yeah. Then that was that was feeling isolated and depressed within a. A, a, like a sanctuary at home of like total compassion. So if you have any like uh, any of the friction from like a normal, family, I can't imagine. Yeah. Also, it. you're you know I you are a teenager, but but teenagers are they're smart. You know, you, talk, yes, you can talk not, to a friend yeah. and they are not going to judge you. Or if you they know are, what I mean, get the, yeah, get yeah. The they should not be there. But that's that people you know don't judge. Mm -hmm. Like I don't judge 
anybody for what they are no. into. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, in, in some cases where it's like hurting somebody, but you, yeah. nobody's going to judge you. We're all we're all sexual creatures. We're fucking animals. Mm-hmm. We're meant to do that. So yeah. that's what you want to watch, then you're fine. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think that the idea of like a value placement is just something good to continue thinking about. Just yeah. let go of that. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Everything is what mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. Just get those stupid shaming, shaming, sex shaming people out of your life. Yeah. yeah. Or God. teach them a lesson. You know, yeah. if they can't, if they can't like. I mean, it's hard with parents. You can't. Well, I you know what though. I, mm-hmm. I, I don't accept that because yeah. with my parents, um, my parents are fucking awesome, but I rebelled stubbornly against being confirmed in the Catholic Church because I was mm-hmm. like, this is fucking stupid and yeah. you cannot explain to me why it's good. Good for so, you. And then, you know good what? You. Didn't have to do it. And then, I got confirmed and then left Catholicism like a month later. Yeah, yeah. which is what like millions of people do <laughs> That's what most you know, happens. worldwide. Yeah. 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 But it's hard to do that. I can't, I don't mind good well, at you have to be up a to shit. my parents. Yeah, you have to be a stupid little shit. You have to feel like... <laughs> Were you it, scared to tell your parents that? No, like, I was just do- annoyed. I didn't want to go to CCD. Right. You know, like I just... <laughs> you know, like we have to do so yeah. much stuff. And I want to hang out by myself and like read my books and shit. Yeah. I know how I want to spend my time. And yes. that's like, as a kid, you have to go to mm. all that school and then do after school crap. You have no time. I remember thinking that in high school, just being so, and that's why I, I dropped out of high school and went to junior college instead, basically, uh-huh. uh, because I was like, I was kind of mature for my age. I started yeah, working when I was like 11 year. and I was like, yeah, yeah. you people are wasting my time. I'm not yep. doing a word search later. Yeah. And also yep. like you have, <laughs> kids are all like chronically underslept and dehydrated. In like, in Dehydrated like, as yeah. fuck. Yeah, you can't yeah. have any drinks. No drinks. No drinks in classroom. No nothing anywhere. I never peed in high school. I never <laughs> went to the bathroom in high school. You didn't? No. Oh, that was like when we socialized. You'd be like, you oh, would just no. go grab the bathroom pass and like oh, see, that's, cruise. Yeah. I just I probably <laughs> drank a half a cup of water every day throughout the whole oh. high school. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I kind of remember. I mean, I didn't care about being hydrated as a teenager. <laughs> no, but like, nobody does. Right. Yeah, no, you don't exactly. realize it. You yeah. don't even realize but it. But if you are cigarettes. drinking off all the time, please hydrate more. Definitely yes. drink more water. Yes. Definitely drink more water. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we need to be telling kids about the importance of hydration. You know, <laughs> seriously, drink water. Drink more water. Send us your parents' address. We're just gonna maybe send their parents should drink water. water. Yeah, maybe yeah. their parents are dehydrated. Her, yeah. her parents, and that's why they're sex shaming. Uh, but I do yeah. think there is something about, and I don't, you know, depending on the kind of porn, but there is a little bit of problem about watching too much porn. I think if you have oh, a totally. porn addiction yes. or something, yeah. that's something yeah, yeah. to, you know, if it's mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. If you. I think it can, you know, show you situations that are very real that you can expect. Yeah, also, yeah. 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 Any pleasurable activity is is going to be compulsive. Mm-hmm. It can get compulsive. It, especially yeah, depending definitely. on your personality. Yeah. 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 And I that's something I struggle with just all the time. Is like I have no interest in quitting things. I just want to keep being able to enjoy them. Sure. It's like mm-hmm. finding that balance where it's yeah. like if this is getting out of control, then I'll no longer be able to enjoy it because I'll, I won't be able to contrast it with the times that I'm not doing it. Yeah. Yeah, that middle way is, I think is kind of, kind of boring, and that's what turns people off because they the these like spikes of compulsive activity or whatever are so exciting, and then mm-hmm. the, and then the, right. the the withdrawal is so like crushing. But being moderate and and like just enjoying things in moderation is kind of like this middle that's way. That's what that about your like, 30s are. I think, like that's yeah, where yeah, it's, it's like, like okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and I think it seems boring. But well, then that's I not think, boring. But I think it's peaceful. I think it's peaceful, yeah. and this is like so hippy dippy. But I think it's ultimately about like mindfulness it's yeah. like it seems boring but actually if you're paying attention to what you're doing and enjoying it's not boring because you're actually enjoying it more fully and with much more definition and you're not looking to tell yeah. the story like you know it's like you're, you're enjoy it but a lot of these um we get addicted mm-hmm. to these like really crazy behaviors because they we start to use them to identify ourselves with you yes. know and like and like you're never gonna believe what happened to me you know yeah like, where you're just not just feeling it and doing it whatever. oh completely yes. that's why i decided not to fuck anyone for a while because i was just like this is where I'm getting my identity from. And I felt like I've been doing it my whole life from men because it was just like, that's what I was into. We talked about it. It was like, yeah. I don't have yeah, any yeah. hobbies. I just was like, dudes were my hobby. And wow. so I was just like, I need a fucking break. I want to just be on my own terms. That's all I'm caring about. I'm not fucking somebody for the story or yeah. for the, yeah. you know. How old are you? 33. 33. Okay. So, uh, fucking someone for the story when I was single was a real problem. Yeah. And it was just, and it's fun. It's like the, (laughs) and I like heightening my life and that, and that's drinking and that's fucking, you know, it's like that is, Mm -hmm. and when you are used to those highs, it is hard to go down to the lows because you want it all the time. But now at this point I am just getting more comfortable with the in between. And that does feel good because I'm able to look inward and not just be numbing with that, whatever the fuck stuff I was doing before. Yeah. You know, I did a Carrie Bradshaw list of like, cause when I turned 30, I fucked like a million people. A million? Really? Yeah. And like sometimes three in a night. Really? Wow. Yeah. But it was like, a, it was very, I, part of it was like, um, it was all in drag. 
So these guys. Yeah, really? So I was like, I was. Oh no, this is like a sociological study too. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm just like fucking a million people. <laughs> yeah, just like yeah. you know, it was it was totally safe and everything. Yeah. Like, it, um, we never use condoms now. It's gonna get, but like, um, but it was, uh, you know, it, it was, yeah, it was just out of hand. You kind of like once you start, and that's what I started realizing. I was in a long relationship, and I got out of it, and I was kind of fucking around a lot, mm-hmm. and I started being like, oh, this isn't for the right reason, and I can feel it, and yeah. I need to, yeah, figure that out. Yeah, you don't go to the same restaurant three times in a night. You know? Exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, too yeah. much. Of, I mean, like, I wouldn't want to eat like an entire vat of chocolate syrup. Yeah, like, I think sex gonna... is like food, just it, like that. They're... Just you know, just the mm-hmm. sexual encounter just by itself is just like a meal. I, I, yeah. I think there's a I, one what's that movie, uh, yeah. Only one. Yeah. Like Water for Chocolate. Uh huh. That was I, about like the relationship between sex and food. Oh, but I haven't yeah. seen that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was incredible. So I know it's a very erotic movie. It's very sexy. And it is. I mean, they, they're very similar. Is it Spanish? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But, uh, but, but it's just about, I mean, it's just about the parallels between sex and food basically but just they're both very sensual. They both need to be mm-hmm. handled. They're both essential to live. Yes, but and when it's over, it's over. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just, like, you don't you like lick the back. glass of the restaurant window. Like, yeah. you know, after you've had the meal, you just go home. You know mm-hmm. what? Brian, that is really, really, really good advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. No, seriously. You don't I need mean, to think about yeah, that yeah, with yeah. your dicks. After you lick your dick, you don't need to keep licking lick the bowl. Lick your dick. Or the yeah. dick that you're licking. You don't want to lick, lick it and finish it and then oh, go home. Boy, oh, I have a bad problem <laughs> with licking, licking the glass. That's <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> <concerned>. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to text some spaghetti. <laughs> no, yeah. no, seriously. Yeah, no. I mean, just it, it's. I know it's different for some some men and some women, and everybody's different about like mm-hmm. um, casual encounters. You know, mm-hmm. everybody has different like levels of or not of emotional involvement. But um, for and then you know it goes from like the very impersonal man to the very like clingy woman as like uh, cliches. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, it's sex is sex. Don't make sex any more than it is. Anything more yeah. than it is. It's a yeah. wonderful but that's pleasurable hard because activity. Don't we have? Yeah. We do have that hormone that gets released. Yeah. Oh, well, because we yeah. need to procreate. Yeah, yeah but yeah. We're, right. Yeah. There's so much, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that and that is what I said. I mean, yeah. But the, don't is that true though? That women have the hormone true. that gets released. We have a hormone. We do get true. emotionally yeah. connected. Of course, yeah. because yeah. it's it, it evolutionarily like biology wise, it makes perfect sense for right. you and and the the men to mm-hmm. you know disseminate as much as possible. Blah blah blah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I mean, and that is what's so weird about being human is like we were definitely cave people. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah, but things change so fast, and we need to like. I think it's the culture lag of our brains not catching up to technology. I think yeah. so too. Yeah. I think so too. Um, all right, you guys. So wait, we, did any last words from oh, this yeah. girl? I don't know. Oh yeah, find out the people who are shaming you and and figure out how to not make that happen. What did she do about her <laughs> yeah. parents? I mean, her it's pa- her parents who were doing. How old yeah. is she? Part, she's sixteen. She's a teenager. Yeah, a teenager. Sixty. Um, find. Um, she needs to find solidarity online. If she can't find it in her community. Yeah. I think that's a big that's part right. of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then just get through these two years. I mean, and know that you're not weird. You have, it's very normal. Yeah. No, yeah. you're not weird. Please. Yeah. Your parents normal. are weird. Yeah, you're you're not parents. weird. Your parents are weird. Your parents are watching some weird porn. I don't know what your parents or are. They, yeah. Or they're yeah. not. And or it's they're fucking not. them. That, yeah. That's yeah. why they're saying And this. I challenge yeah. you to talk to her parents about sex. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I never talked to my parents about sex. Not because they're bad parents, but just because it was weird. Yeah. yeah, so I'd be willing no to have a weird conversation with your parents. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I don't want to say that. I would. Yeah. I would. Do that. <laughs> I, but I would now, but I mean, I would. I still I would mean, feel weird. I'm in my terrified mind. because I've yeah. never told my parents I'm bi, and now I'm scared that some family members listen to this. So I like good. So we'll see. Yeah. Bi yeah. visibility is more important than any other kind. I think they're yeah. still the unicorns of the sexual <laughs> spectrum. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah no God. well Katya told me I'm a unicorn so I can <laughs> <laughs> I can go out on top today <laughs> well see uh, Katya on motherfucking RuPaul uh, what's the official title All, Star? RuPaul. All Stars Drag Race yeah yeah something like that uh, it's good God it's damn good it, TV this cast it's, so it's good. good TV regardless of each of our individual involvement it's good television yeah I mean, we've absolutely amazing. talked about Drag Race all the time on the show where I mean it's just an yeah. amazing amazing it's an amazing show and an amazing universe and yeah it's cool mm-hmm. it's really great you're we love you. And is there you. anything you want to plug specifically? Coming um, up? N- no, just um, uh, I live in LA now, so um, I'm happy about that. Yeah. Are well you going to be performing live here? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. We still travel around all, all the time, but yeah, I'm yeah. doing a show with Jackie. Actually, no, yeah. In October, I'm doing a show with Jackie Beat, um, mm, who's ooh. a great uh, local um, drag queen superstar. And um, that's going to be at some place in October nice. 8th, I think. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm Hell sure you yeah. tweet out your dates yeah, and Yeah, bonkers. All that it's called bonkers. Yeah, it's fun. Oh my I God. Do. We're going to be there. Yeah, we'll be there. Great. Plan on yeah. it without a doubt. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks Thank for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Bye, okay. you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. 
As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.